Before we start, just keep in mind this isn't technically made for Android Auto, but it still works well just with some small issues. So I recommend it for like podcast interviews, music videos, stuff like that. All right, to start, we're going to go to our web browser. I'm using the Google Chrome web browser. We're going to search for AAAD APK. I also have a link for you down in the description if you need it. But look for this website right here. Select it. Now on this page, we got to scroll down until you see this option that says go to download and select that. And when you get to the next page, scroll down until you see this option that says release APK. Select it so it can download the file needed to install the app. You should see a prompt to open the file at the top, but if not for any reason, you can just go to your settings and go to download so you can also see it there. Now when you select it, it'll prompt you to install it, but if this is your first time installing the app from a website, it'll ask you to go to your settings and change the unknown sources on the web browser itself. So in my case, it'll say change the unknown sources for Google Chrome, so turn it on. But once you turn it on, go back and then you can install this app. So this app is just needed to get the YouTube app, which is called CarStream. But we do have to give the Triple AD app permission to install CarStream. So when you get this prompt, don't select a nor select OK. And then it'll prompt us to turn on the unknown sources. So select the Triple AD app, turn on allow from the source, back out, and then we can select CarStream. Now when you first select car stream it may not work you'll have to select it a second time and you can ignore the option that says you have one download at the bottom we're just here to get car stream and we're going to uninstall the app after that so don't even pay attention to that but when you select car stream for the second time most likely you'll see this prompt so select the latest option and then select ok and from here it'll uh, start installing the app now the only thing that's left is to uninstall the triple ad app and if you want to you can go ahead and open up the car stream app i'll walk you through it so you can sign in into your youtube account so i'm gonna go ahead and uninstall the triple ad app on my side just so you can see that it works without it when you first open up the car stream app on your phone itself it's going to ask you to allow some options the only option that I trust to allow is the voice because you may have to use like voice search in the car, but everything else I select the knife for. Now, once you get on the app on your phone, it's going to be very laggy since it's not made for your phone. But please keep in mind the only reason that we'll open this app on our phone is just to sign in into our YouTube account so we can use it in the car. So once you do open up the app, on the bottom right hand corner where it says the library we're going to select that and then it'll prompt you to sign in now the only thing that's left is to plug our our phone up to the car and actually use the app now we'll say when you do open up your app library you may see this from auto auto app now this is just an app that's required to use car stream so you can't really uninstall it but besides that everything else is good to go like I said, it's some small issues, but for stuff like listening, stuff like podcast interviews, it works well. But that's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out.